Okay, so I understand that I was supposed to give a speech today, but due to things that I didn't see coming, I only did it five minutes ago and wasn't able to finish. I'm sorry. Just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> Picture this. You walk into your first period math class excited for a new day of school, ready to learn. The moment you sit down, you remember something horrible though. Last night you were too busy on your iPad to do any homework. How many, of, how many people in this room are infected with the illness we commonly know as procrastinating? <laughs> as you can see, this procrastinating is taking over the world. It's commonly known as the world's most common time thief because it's taking away your time. You're, getting, you're not doing the important things that matter and you're doing more pleasurable things in front of it. So in this speech, I'll first be giving my own, the times that I've interfered with procrastinating. Then I'll be talking about what is procrastinating why, and why people do it. And then I'll be telling you how to stop procrastinating. So last year when I was in an English class, they told me that I had an essay to do and turn in in one month. This didn't scare me at all, even though it should have. Every single day after school, I would come home, finish my homework, t and tell myself, oh, I can always do it tomorrow, you know, it's a whole month. That's like 30 days. But days pass much more quickly than you can imagine. Days passed, slowly weeks passed. Then it was a perfectly normal Thursday. I got back from school at about 6 p.m. and then I decided to start my homework, but I had an issue. My iPad was calling me. <laughs> it wanted me to play some games. <laughs> so then I played on my iPad, you know, five minutes, how much can it hurt? Famous last words. I f by the time I'd finished messing around, it was 9.30 and dinner was already over. Then I realized that I had to do my homework. I quickly finished my math, S math homework and my science homework and my Spanish homework. But then it hit me. The essay was due tomorrow. <laughs> of course, I got a snack first. But after that, <laughs> I rushed and rushed. Too much adrenaline filled me. And I somehow finished my essay at 2 o'clock a.m. <laughs> From this experience, I learned to never procrastinate again. I even bought this book called 52 Ways to Defeat Procrastination. <laughs> now, I know I got that book a year ago, and it's not my fault. I confess I haven't read it yet. <laughs> now, throughout the world, there I've seen three main types of procrastinators. They're the easily distracted procrastinators. Yes, I know who you are. They're just the lazy procrastinators who don't want to do anything and they avoid the work, some of you here. And then there's the procrastinators that just don't know where to start. They just sit and stare at their work for hours. Personally, I'm a type of procrastinator who just gets e too easily distracted. And when you're a procrastinator like me, it pretty much means that before you do any work, your mind roams to other places, such as your electronics or pretty much anything that's connected to the internet works. <laughs> but then there's the laziness procrastinators. They're just too lazy for their own good and procrastinate to get out of doing the work at all. Then there are the procrastinators who just don't, that don't know where to start and they just sit, stare at their work for hours. Now, if you're the type of procrastinator like me who gets easily distracted, a few steps you can do to stop procrastinating is write a to-do list or get rid of other distractions. Not this to-do list. That is a bad <coughs> to-do list. You can, if you're a lazy procrastinator, you can ha give yourself a reward. And then you'll, for example, put some chocolate next to you and then just pretend that when the moment you finish an assignment, take a bite and it'll make your work much faster, and it's a good excuse to eat chocolate. <laughs> if you're the type of procrastinator that's just stares at works for a long time, you could also make a to-do list. 
give yourself a time break and solve the big problem in small pieces so you're not overwhelmed. <coughs> Procrastinating is a horrible issue. It, it hurts our overall lives and turns into a lifestyle. It, adults don't pay their bills and don't pay their credit cards, while children just don't do their homework. And for all these reasons, I really, everybody in this room should stop procrastinating. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.